Hello guys and welcome back. So now uh, before we do any work on our car controller, let's first of all create a camera controller for our car, okay? So that the camera controller follows the car perfectly, okay? For that right here in the car controller folder, let's create a new C sharp script by the name of camera follow. Let's click on this camera and drag and drop this script okay now let's open this up and from here let's remove the start and update method and at the top let's create a public float by the name of move smoothness after this let's create another public float which will be by the name of rotation smoothness Okay. Then uh, we need to uh, create a vector three for the move offset and the rotation offset. Okay. So we're gonna say public vector three. Let's name this as move offset. Then public vector three rotation offset okay and then we need a reference to our car so we're gonna say public transform car target okay now let's go ahead and create a method and that method will be by the name of handle movement and in here we're gonna handle the camera movement so if the car is moving in high speed then how the camera is going to follow that car okay so first of all we're going to create a vector 3 by the name of target position and this is going to be equals to new vector 3 okay then the target position will be equals to car target dot transform point and we're gonna apply the move offset to it okay and then we're gonna say transform dot position equals to vector 3 dot derp pass the transform dot position then the target position then the move smoothness and multiply that by time dot delta time okay then after this let's handle the rotation of the car so if the car is turning on corners then how the camera will uh, uh, show the car okay so for that create a variable direction and this is going to be equals to the car target dot position and then we're going to say minus transform dot position then after this create a variable rotation and this is going to be equals to new quaternion and guys i will be explaining this in a moment but let me type all of the code first then the rotation will be equals to quaternion dot look rotation and then here pass the direction then the rotation offset okay then we're gonna say vector 3 dot up and then we're gonna say transform dot rotation equals to quaternion dot let's pass the uh, transform dot position and instead of the target position as we did up there now we're gonna pass the rotation then we're gonna pass the rotation smoothness and multiply that by time dot delta time simple as that so now let me tell you what is happening in this whole script so as you can see this uh, move 
smoothness uh, is the uh, smoothing factor for camera movement okay and this is the smoothing uh, factor for camera rotation and then this move offset is the offset for camera position relative to the target okay and this is the offset for camera rotation relative to the target okay so this is the movement this is the rotation and then uh, as you can see this car target is the reference to the target that the camera will follow so it is our uh, car okay now in the handle movement right here we are simply uh, calculating the target position by transforming the move offset relative to the car target okay and on this line we uses this uh, vector 3 dot lerp to smoothly move the camera to the target position okay uh, which is the car target okay now in the handle rotation right here we are simply calculating the direction from the camera to the ta uh, to the car target okay and then on this line we calculate a rotation that looks in the direction okay plus the uh, rotation offset using vector 3 dot up as the up direction okay and then in this line we uses quaternion dot lerp to smoothly rotate the camera to the uh, target uh, rotation and simple as that okay now once that is all explained now in here uh, we gonna create another method which will be by the name of photo target Okay, and in this follow targets, let's call the handle movement and the handle rotation. And then uh, at the top, create a late update method. And in this, just simply call follow target. Okay. All right, so now let's save the script. And before saving, make sure that right here instead of transform dot position, you type transform dot rotation. Okay, because uh, I don't know why I copied that and pasted it down below, but I didn't change it to rotation. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Then get back right here. Now, as you can see on the camera follow script, we have all of these things. So let's set the movement smoothness to 25, rotation smoothness to 25. Let's add car 1 in there and the move offset and rotation offset we're gonna set it when we start the game. Okay, so as you can see the camera is inside of the car. So now let's uh, move this to 2. Okay, let's move this to minus 6. Okay, change this to 1.6 and now as you can see the camera is set up these values might be different for your game but for mine i think it looks good okay i will make this to 2.6 and let's change this to 6.5 all right so i think minus 6.5 will be a good value and uh, this should be 1.6 i think 1.6 is a good value for this okay so now before closing the game make sure that you copy the component okay these whole values then close the game as you can see the values are gone so now we're going to click on paste component values and now if we play the game again okay now as you can see it is looking good but if you notice the car is uh, dragging I don't know why so we're gonna fix this as well so let's try the first method which is to let's change this to interpolate and let's check it out okay so as you can see that issue is fixed okay there is still a little bit of issue okay but we're gonna fix this in our upcoming videos but now as you can see the camera 
follows the car perfectly fine as you can see okay So now with this turn, let's end this video right here.